It's almost the beginning of a new year. Can you believe it? A brand new calendar for a fresh start on life. Most people start the new year off by making some resolutions. Have you ever heard of that? Making a resolution is like making a promise to ourselves that we're gonna do certain things better. Usually it's a promise to make the next year better than the last. Here's a list of resolutions that might be good for children to make. Number one, I will watch less TV and get more exercise. Number two, I will be nice to other kids, even my brothers and sisters. Number three, my personal favorite, I will put away my toys when I'm through playing with them. Some people don't take New Year's resolutions very seriously. After all, they're just promises to yourself. You don't need to follow through on those, do you? Well, of course you do. It's a big deal. A promise is a promise. And it's important to keep your promises, even if it's just a promise to yourself. You know, God is always faithful in keeping his promises. In the Bible, there's a story about a man named Simeon. Simeon was a very old man who had faithfully served God all of his life. Simeon was looking forward to the coming of the Messiah. God had promised Simeon that he would not die until he had seen the Christ, the promised Messiah. A few days after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple to dedicate him to God. Simeon was in the temple, as he usually was. As soon as Simeon saw the baby, he knew that Jesus was the Christ that God had kept his promise that he would see before he died. Simeon took the child in his arms and he praised God, saying, Lord, now let your servant die in peace. As you have promised, I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. Anna, a prophet, was also in the temple. She was always at the temple worshiping and praying. She came along just as Simeon was talking to Mary and Joseph. When she heard what Simeon was saying, she began praising God and telling everyone that this child was the savior that God had promised. Both Simeon and Anna knew that God is faithful to his promises, <clears throat> just as he is faithful to his promises to you and me. So in a couple of days, as we begin a new year, let's remember that just as God is faithful in keeping his promises, we should be faithful in keeping our promises too. It doesn't matter whether it's a promise to ourselves, a promise to a friend, or a promise to God. After all, a promise is a promise. Let us pray. Dear Father, just as you keep your promises to us, please help us keep our promises. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. We'll see you next time.